This is Infection, the H1Z1 podcast, recorded live on Tuesday, November 17th, 2015, episode 44. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Infection, the H1Z1 podcast. Infection is your source for the latest information on H1Z1. We bring you the latest news, change logs, developments, strategies, and speculation each and every week. My name is Nick Craig, at Nicholas M. Craig is my Twitter infectionpodcast.com is our website you can also check out my other podcast if you're interested in gaming geekiness and more at thecrummyshow.com joining me who has not played h1z1 brian with an eye aldrich <laughs> hello yes i i actually went and looked at my played time because i was like man i just feel like i haven't been on in a while and i and i hadn't been in a long, on in a little while i have to um, check, i should check my play time yeah. So, but well, that's the thing is I, I said, <laughs> I said, well, would they, because they're talking about this November update they're supposed to be doing. Allegedly. And so, the, the spe- specu- and that's, so I was like, speculation. Well, when the, <laughs> yeah. When the November update, cause I just, I've been, get, I've gotten tired of BRs because that's not me. Like I don't play CSGO for, for a reason. You don't play COD. You're not into the first I don't play, shooter. I don't play. Yeah. I don't play first person shooters. I like zombie survivals. And I said, all right, when they put out this survival update that they're talking about, that's supposed to implement, you know, the clan system and all these wonderful things, the base building is going to be revamped. I said, all right, well, I'll log in and play some survival then. Of course. And we're coming up on Thanksgiving and I'm pretty sure they're not going to be working over Thanksgiving week. Well, Brian, where can people find you online? All right. So if you want to find me, of course, <laughs> as we get right into the that show. was our intro. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good for asking me a question before we start. So bite of tech. I didn't even ask you a question. I made a statement. Oh, okay. A statement. <laughs> I'll, I'll not respond next time. A bold um, statement. So I, yeah, if you want to get a hold of me, bite of tech.com with an eye, or of course, just go to infectionpodcast.com. It's probably the best way on the upper right. You'll see contact us and there's a nice little contact form that'll get right to Nick and I, um, of course, join our steam group. We have 300 and something people there right now um that you can join and if you see some people playing h1z1 or playing any other game that you want to be a part of you can join on our uh team speak and see if they're playing in uh in there you can message them one thing i found is if people are playing just send them a message say hey do you want to play a game yeah because sometimes they will it's our our team speak server used to be like 24 hours a day there would be people in there now it seems to have died out a little bit um so every once in a while i'll see people from our group playing a playing a game but they're not in team speak so send them a message um now i attacked brian at the beginning of the show but i'm guilty myself i don't play h1z1 um so that's uh, i mean i For, bought fallout on the show last week and that was a lot i did that i, know, I did Nick, that live. Was like i'm not gonna buy fallout and then during the show is it good <laughs> yes i i said it's good he's like all right i bought it <laughs> yeah and i've got uh as we sit right now i've got i've got 14 hours play time so between yeah. that and Call of Duty and school and work. Um, See, my problem is I leave it. People probably think I'm playing all the time, but I keep leaving it at the like at the Loading escape screen. screen. Yeah. Well, no, I'll, I'll get in the game and then hit escape when I got to go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, as and as so people save. think. Yeah. And I'm doing quick saves and it saves every five minutes anyways. Oh, um, does it? I didn't know that. So it does every 10 minutes. But if you go into the settings hmm. uh, and put you can put it to save every five minutes, which I find a lot. A lot better. No, I've never had a crash. Have you had a crash? No, no, I haven't had a crash. I just I had where I died unexpectedly for yeah. some random reason. So that's that. That's the one thing I was. Here, so the whole thing with uh, this is this is, has nothing to do with H one Z one. But gaming on, like you know, we always there's always this console versus P, console peasants versus PC master race argument that's made. Um, yeah. Coming from somebody like you know, like. You you consistently done both, right? I've well, I, you know, I wouldn't even call myself a consistent PC gamer. Uh, prior yeah. to H1Z, when I really didn't play much on the PC, I played Battlefield. That was about it. But like, like, just I'm only I'm only 18, so like I didn't like PC PC, PC gaming was like it's, song. it's it yeah it is a song it's a great song. Um, but like Brian, you used to play PC games before there were really consoles, and then you just kind of stuck with it. But like there were PC games, then consoles came out, and now everybody's making the transition back to PC. And I was caught in that console era, yeah. where like a good gaming PC, like I didn't have a thousand dollars when I was like twelve to, to spend on a computer to play games. But consoles yeah. are so much more. Like the gr- great thing about a console, you take the disc out, you put it in the system, and it just freaking plays. 
Like, there's no crash. There's no bug splats. Okay, well, no do you want to know drops. why I don't play console? Sure. Because I bought an Xbox 360, and from day Best one, console ever. It, it crashed. And then so, you got a, you got a lemon. Yeah, I got a lemon, and but the thing is, is I opened up and put the, um, I put the uh, thermal paste on there and wow. everything, hmm. and so I couldn't send it back in for warranty. Couldn't and send so it back to it Dallas. Just, yeah, it so it just, it didn't consistently work. Like I'd put in a thing, it would overheat within a minute. Yeah, of red, playing red, a game, red ring of death. Yeah, and so and so I could play DVDs on it, but I didn't need the DVD. I have better DVD players than that. Yeah, and so. I've played mi- games one minute at a time and I just said, this is the worst experience I've ever had in my life. I'm never getting a console again. Yeah, You got a lemon. The Xbox 360 was an unbelievable console, um, but it's just, that's like with a PC, you, you launch a game and it's like direct X ish. Every time I quit fallout Four, like I press Q and it says T to go to the desktop. It throws me a direct X error. Like See, the game doesn't closes, do any of that. But it just, and that's not a big deal because I'm already closing the game. But yeah. like, that doesn't happen on a console. Like you're not in the middle of a game on a console and it just crashes. It it, it doesn't exist. It it just doesn't yeah. because it's the same architecture across every single uh, platform. You know, me playing my Xbox here is the exact same setup as somebody playing their Xbox in California, in Canada, in Mexico, in Europe. It's it's all the same thing. But with see, PC, I like the idea though, and that's one thing that PlayStation really brought to the table. Is I like the idea on my computer being able to put all the settings at max and like trying to get the most out of whatever they're offering for the game. And if you look at what the, like the PlayStation three, uh, has did is those games look just, they looked, if not better than a uh, computer did. Yeah. Now they looked at least as good. I have recently, I guess I've been, I'm I'm a born again console, (laughs) born again console or a, a PC master race person. Um, so I've been playing like since H1Z1, I've been, trying to play more things on pc but like call of duty yeah. not a pc game the community yeah. sucks it's full of hackers and it's just a bunch of tryhards not that xbox yeah. isn't but it's just you know the controller sometimes works better for uh certain things not that this has anything yeah. to do with h one but remember h one z one coming to com- coming to playstation 4 whenever the hell In that 2017 or 18 uh, 19 I, I don't even maybe know. yeah who knows if that will ever happen um so, H1Z1. Um, I guess we should get into that, right? So, yeah. So, I the, on my notes, if you look, I pretty much started out with... You started out, you started out Brian. <laughs> this is, Brian sets me up for failure every week. He, he, brings, he brings up a story. He knows it's going to piss me off. And so, I put that before so, the show, Before, see, before, the, uh, before the updates. Notes. We always start with the update notes. But, Brian, go ahead. Start with your, your okay. lovely... And I love the comment, like the, the posts body is just the best so it pretty much says 14 days to december and i'm still waiting for the big month for survival and then it's pretty much the comment the thing says title yeah just look at the title so that's it um and so they said maybe they meant november of 2016 um just if you go through and read these like there's not even really the people that are usually you get that one bob guy who will defend anything or hanny Oh, hello. Wow. <laughs> well, Handy will come in and say it's alpha. You know, he'll say something to defend oh, it. I have a sound effect for this. <laughs> I have a sound effect for this. Uh, if, you could, if you could find it within reasonable time. Just sniped Handy right out of the... Well, I'm not... You know, <laughs> right no, out of Reddit no right to Handy, but you should go through. <laughs> it's like Eli Bob. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shots were fired. Don't, play, don't, get, don't get kicked <laughs> off of Reddit for this. Um, we'll lose our... Uh, Oh, never mind. I'm not supposed to talk. Well, never mind. Disregard. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, you pretty much just go through the list of comments on this. Yeah. Um, there's, there's, I've always said this. There's lots of H1Z1 apologists and there's every community has this. And I'm, I'm a, I'm a Pittsburgh steel. I'm a, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the American football team. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers apologist. Like that's just yeah. like, like, I'll go in there and people will be trashing them about something and I'll go in there and try to negate the situation. It's kind of derogatory, but at the same time, it's not. Um, every yeah. community has an, uh, this, people that just are so enthusiastic about it that they can see no wrong with anything that's going on. And every well, community's that, full of it. And it's not a bad thing. 
It's alpha. See, bar, I'm a yeah. person that will try to see the positive. Brian, uh, if you listen to a show, what are we on? 44. If you went back 20 shows, you yeah. and I were like oil and vinegar. Now it's just. <laughs> And like, yeah, <laughs> the same person. I, I've kind of come to the middle and I was like, oh, they're working on it. You know, I just I've been I've been down this week about not, you know, just about this. Like I'm thinking about the game and it's just like, man, should we just stop the podcast? <laughs> like get it. it? it's not like it's going bad, but it's just I'm frustrated with the game. Well, and- I just don't want to play any more BRs like I play BBRs because it's it's what there is to do. But that's not it's what the, I enjoy in this game. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's not that what I enjoy about gaming. It, we, I feel like every week we're having this discussion. Um, there will come a point, and I feel like it's... And I just want to keep this public. I don't want to be one week where we, we, you and I just kind of just were like, you know, we're never going to do this thing again. Um, Screw it, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fl- flips table. Um, yeah, but and like, I'm not saying, like, well, this is my resignation. But, I'm just saying... But like, realistically, this, like, we don't even play the... There's, we don't even... I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I launched H1Z when there hasn't been any new content since the freaking Invitational. So I played BRs just a little over a week ago. Like, since since uh, Fallout 4 came out... I haven't... Pl- here I have not been playing... Last H1Z. played 1030. I haven't played this game in... in I haven't 17, played it in eight, 17, 18 days. When was it? What was the 30th? That was a that was a that was a Friday. That was the last time. I, no, that was the day of the big Halloween update when I got both of the things within like three hours of each other. I got the scarecrow and the pumpkin, and I haven't launched the game since then. See, like Kill Cam, he's like, just give Brian more immersion. Like that's that's what I enjoy, and there's zero immersion. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> in 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 uh, BRs, like what is there in BRs that has anything to do with zombie survival? First of all, they put zombies in for a while in, in, in the hardcore and everything, but still like, yeah, it had nothing to do. There's, there's still not really any story. The story that they did put in there was broken. It's just, ugh. there, there will come a point. I feel like it's so they're, they're still announcing new stuff, but I feel like we are on a, we are on a very, okay. But what, okay. What have they announced about, about survival like that's Nothing. not not br servers they really haven't announced anything about survival. in two weeks since the 30th no that i think that may have been the last thing i mean lots of a lot, lot of talk they keep the talk up and people are still playing that's the thing like this game yeah. will stay alive because th- there's still n- not as many but the, we'll get into the to the well the little uh, little spoiler here. there's still like almost twenty thousand people playing on a peak day which yeah. may not sound like, it doesn't sound like a lot when you say that almost 2 million people oh, it's we're coming close on 2 million owners um but you know 2 million people own this game 20,000 people are still playing that's that's 20,000 people that's a lot of people um yeah. so now, now, I just, Sa- I don't know. Sam Crow uh gaming says you know they, to be fair they did add a new zombie model so if they did add the new male zombie but all they're doing is tweaking current content yeah but the it doesn't matter if they added the male zombie because nobody's playing survival that, that nobody's going to see it well, okay. But, Who's going to see that zombie? Nobody what's plays gonna make a BR. difference. What's going to make a difference is, let's say they add a new zombie pl- type. Like, not just a zombie. What, where is the screamer? Okay, so they, they did, the, yeah, like that. Where, I mean, is they the, added, where is the screamer? They did adjust how the zombies move, which did help. Like, they don't all move the same yeah, and they shuffle act, anymore. And, and, well, yeah, they, they actually will hit you while they're moving. It's not just, like, you can actually get killed by a zombie now if you're not paying attention. Before it was impossible. Now it's yeah. kind of possible. And and that's and that's the thing is is now they did fix to where the zombies are much better, but still they're the zombies that are really irrelevant for the most part in this game. Yeah, where are this? Where's the screamers? Where are the professions? Where's the base building? Where's the scoreboards in games? Where's the scoreboards with the API that links the stuff online so that these big community things are going on? Where are all are these things? Are you keeping things? a list? I'm not keeping <laughs> a list. Are you, remember, are you remembering all these things? That but didn't but it's just, it's like, it's simple things. Like so, uh, uh, Jordan brought up professions. Professions is big. I mean, wh- where, where are these BR scoreboards? I mean, Jesus, they announced those in July. Brian, See, it's but, cr- Brian. But, Merry Christmas to you. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Santa Claus. Where the are these freaking yeah, Green scoreboards? Man, Green Man Gaming, uh, uh, he brought up <laughs> Where are the hordes? Remember no the hordes. hordes. That used to be like there was a horde here and there per map. Yeah, I haven't seen a horde in server, uh, six server, months. Server side resources. Server load. Server load resources. I mean, no. Let's talk about the easiest thing: scoreboards, Brian. 
Scoreboards. Let's keep let's let's keep track on scoreboards. What, what All they I, have what to I do think is funny is they all these to, people in chat are like, "Oh yeah, I forgot about that promise." It's, <laughs> I mean, it's literally queuing, uh, uh, making a database query, to to put yeah. to do a scoreboard. How unbelievably complex! They've got to be keeping track of these. I think the problem is is that okay, they're keeping track of these statistics. I think they're having problems rendering them. You know, I, I think I don't think it's the problem of them getting the statistics. I think it's just they're struggling with the API and getting it to render to show you, which shouldn't be that hard. Uh, somebody's saying that B, solo BR scoreboards work. I didn't see an update note that said that. If they are, then... No, no. So solo works. It's anything Well, no. uh, anything two-man Yeah, but the, one of the solos don't work. There's still one that isn't it blank all the I, time. I, I th is it the uh, probably the... Because um... they said that there was a mystery scoreboard. Okay, no. Well, there was one that they didn't haven't added yet. Oh, um, okay. So the solo scoreboards work. It's the two man, the five man, and I think the hardcore. It, I, I never really. It's play astonishing hardcore. that they don't work. Uh, July, I was on vacation. I w I was in Boston. No, I wasn't in Boston. Where was I? I I, pr I produced the show remotely. That's the time that they announced that they were that. That's when they first put the scoreboards in. That was in July. Yeah. I was in, I was on vacation in July. I'm now through my first semester of college, and there are still no scoreboards. Now, if you ever wonder why they give us no love, <laughs> I, well, what, we're gonna we're not, we're not gonna be doing the show in the two weeks, so <laughs> who cares? Camper says, "Where's I mean, the snow? Remember the snow?" Um, well, I mean, clearly there isn't going the to be weather a, system. No weather. It, well, That's another thing you forgot to add to your list. The weather. No, system. there is a weather system. It, it, yeah, no, it's either it's either foggy or clear. Doesn't it rain? It rained for a little while. It, but it hasn't rained. They turned it off. Um, oh. Shit. Yeah, no way to see one swag for infection. Who cares? I don't care. I don't like the game anymore. I never really liked the game, to be honest with you. It had a... You know, you know. I, I, I'm, we're totally scrapping these show notes here. This game had so much hype behind it. The, the, I, Sh Smedley... Schmed, I almost said Schmedley. Smedley, yeah, Smedley had such a great concept with this game. Remember, this was his child, the, the, yeah. the model of H1Z1. It was after, this was after the uh, Daisy hype. The, the idea was there for a zombie, sur a zombie survival game. It, expectations were great. They were bringing, they were flying streamers out to San Diego to, to do stuff, you know, six or eight months before the game was released. The hype was huge. So much was promised, and they have failed on literally almost everything. Almost everything. There is no, the, the game, first of all, isn't zombie survival. It's yeah. become Player Unknown's Battle Royale H1Z1 edition, because that's all it's about, is about H1Z1, because for whatever reason, the company feels like they have to maintain this free to play model, which, by the way, uh, hello, it's not going to work. Nobody plays the game. So, uh, you know, if this game went uh, beta today, where, when people actually had to pay for it, nobody's even playing. How are they going to sustain this model? I mean, yeah. they'd have enough problems if there were 40,000 people playing the game to do this, but they don't, they have, they don't even have 20. It didn't even hit 20,000 people this week. And, and yeah. you're going to tell me that they're going to sell 75-cent keys to keep this game alive? I mean, you're, okay, out your, so you're out of your mind. Here's what I was looking at this past week and just kind of getting one of the things I was getting frustrated about is first of all, they're selling this game uh, for 20 bucks a pop for the most part. And they've sold almost 2 million, 2 million copies. Let's say with discounts and everything, you could average that out to 10 million, right? For well, 2 million, well, I'd, or I'd ten, say, or I'd, sorry, ten, $10. I'd say Let's 15, say, 15 would probably be more, more. Yeah, accurate. but they, they sold in other countries that all those hackers oh, okay. got the $5 copies oh, and everything. Yeah. So I'm just saying, let's, let's eat, let's even it out to $10. That'd be a safe, Okay, number. yeah, there you go. That would be a conservative number. So so let's say ten dollars. So that is twenty million dollars them alone that they've made off of game sales because let's say they sell it through Green Man Green Man Gaming. Somebody's making a little bit of a cut. Like there's you know, there's money on top there. Um so let's say twenty they got ten million dollars times the two, you know, so $20, $20 million dollars worth just in those alone. And then you see with these, the these things, how much they're making off of keys, hundred million dollars in uh, key sales to, to, for the invitational or whatever. And that, that number ended up being was so 20% so of look the key at sales? how much money they're bringing in now turn around and, Okay, so let's jump ahead and show notes since we're uh, Brian's, getting worked up. Brian's locked so, and loaded. It's going to be a good so show, everybody. Go, go to no <laughs> ARC announcements. And this has nothing to do with ARC, but I want to show you the difference between announcements on ARC 
and the kind of announcements we get on on now day, i need some uh, we, from daybreak we need a clarification from our chat um how do we know how big the arc development team is is no, it but uh, uh, somebody in our somebody could, in our chat has if to somebody know. wants to google it for me um I mean, I can try to look. No, it no, up. no. Go ahead on to this. I just, I, I okay. Would like so, to... but look at look at how they reveal content. First of all, like when they announce a new animal or a new dinosaur. Uh, okay. um, yeah, I see that. So they're saying it's like two or three people. Two or three people are making people are saying, and then other people are saying forty. I don't... So forty. <laughs> it, have... it might it might be it might be two guys that are originally start programming it. And they might be up. I mean, they made, they sold a lot of copies, so they could have grown their development team to 40. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but I'm looking at, so I'm showing this on screen right now, this, this thing. Yeah. If you, if you take a look at how often they're releasing content and look at the little thing they draw up for each, like when they release a new animal yeah. or a, a new dinosaur, they put out a thing saying, Hey, check out this new dinosaur that's coming. Um, you know, and they, they go through and they put these things on there. I mean, if you look at the base building system of it, if you look at the variety in animals, how flawlessly they move for, you know, for, for their AI, um, how the landscape is just full. I mean, not, I'm not saying I hardly play arc, so I'm not saying go out and buy arc. I mean, it's not my style of game, uh, as far as the dedication it takes, how much time you need to play it to really build up anything. But like, look at that one, um, at the top one, the, 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 where there's the three across on the right. Okay. They're having an arc modding contest. Yeah, I just I pulled They're that They're encouraging up, yeah. you to make mods. Like, look at the base on that. Yeah, like, I showed that earlier. That's it great. looks like a regular building. Mm -hmm. It's modular. Um, you have the choice of doing wood, metal. Like, there is just tons. And we've talked about this, I think it was a little bit last week. A lot of it has to do with the engine. The reason that Daybreak has such a hard time putting out good content like this it's because the engine they isn't capable of it. There you go. So I just it's it's so frustrating and it they tries to keep such a, a tight knit closed environment for for H1Z1. A lot of it because they're said, "Oh, well hackers are going to use it." Uh, or I don't I don't remember seeing any hackers in Arc. Or, you know, it's, it's like I didn't play it enough to and, that, and it's but, totally yeah. open. Like they're encouraging mods. They're encouraging you to expand it, to add to it, and and with Daybreak, they're like, oh, we got to keep it, we got to keep quiet about everything, we got to we got to keep everything so close and so tight because we're worried about hackers using it. Well, maybe it's the engine. <laughs> maybe there's so many hackers is because you have an engine that's not made to handle this type of game, and people are taking advantage of it. You don't have the the engine's not strong enough to be able to server side check everything. Yeah. Now I had. Um... Uh, while you're doing that, Sam Crow Gaming in chat said that he said, "Be careful what you talk about, or the devs will come in here crying." Um, and he said they did that on Reddit. He posted something on uh, he posted or somebody posted something on Reddit that he replied to. Um, he said not answering people directly and joking that working on survival is like being chained to your desk and working in a, in a dungeon. And a, um, a senior technical architect wrote back and said, "If you're going to come down on us like this for having a little fun, then perhaps you shouldn't be surprised when we don't post as much." Uh, currently, it's not possible for devs to post on Reddit without getting downvoted a bunch of negative replies. It doesn't matter what any of us post, even if it's exactly what you people want to hear. That's bullshit. That's bullshit because they're not posting what people want to hear. They put out these polls and they put out. Uh, do you remember when they did that poll about what object? Remember the um, what was it? The light, the light what, what, generator. Yeah, the light. Didn't, didn't they, they post po something didn't like they hey, post that? Let the let the community. I, they I'm did gonna, I'm repost gonna, it. Someone else made it, but then I, they posted it. I'm going to make sure that saying, they post We're seriously that. considering this. Yeah. But if they went through and said, hey, let's vote on, we're, we're considering three or four different designs. Let's, let's vote on this. Like, people would totally be in for that. And they that. did that, but no, but I'm going to find this now because I'm determined. But they made a post like that. Like, I do remember that some, post. Like, it, it was a straw poll, and there was like four pictures. And it was like, which one looks the best? Yeah. And um, what they call rigged light. That was one of the terms, if you want to. Rigged but, light. Uh, so what I was showing is if you look at all of those posts that, that ARC puts out, and then if you go look at the all news for H1Z1, it's like 11.12, we put out a game update. Server maintenance, 11.3. Login issues. Halloween update on, in 
game update 1022, G29 errors, a hot fix. And, then, you know, it's like, where's stuff talking about, like, hey, we have this exciting new feature we're getting ready to release, or this new zombie type. Like, nothing is on there. Yeah. Uh, Haru, he and Chai, he's talking about miscreated. And I did play miscreated. I personally, I like the look of miscreated a lot more than H1Z1. If you take a look at just the landscape and how naturally buildings go with the environment, it just you feel like you're actually running around someplace. I found the poll. I can't find the can't find the one where the devs actually posted it. So. I don't know, but it, it, they may have just said, "Hey, you know, what do you think of this?" Or there, but, it, but it might have not been the rigged lights. There were some other things that they yeah, but they did a poll because I found the poll, but I, it's not from a dev. But I, I'm certain that they posted like there was an image or something that they posted and, and they had it. But like, yeah, that's just the, the 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 fact that he says it doesn't matter what any of us post, even if it's exactly what you people want to hear. Last time I checked, people want to hear about survival, and they haven't made a post about survival. So. Um, Mr. Senior Technical Architect, you're not posting what people want to hear. People have wanted survival content since you announced the H1Z1 Invitational. And since yeah. the H1Z1 Invitational, all we've had was a new zombie model, um, this lackluster uh, a Halloween update. I mean, I can't think of another damn thing they've done since the Invitational. The, well, I mean, they released the Green Dawn. But the, uh, a survival. But I mean, we'll, they we'll said get, that... But yeah, his exact comment, his exact comment was, "It doesn't matter what any of uh, any of you, uh, any of us post, even if it's exactly what you people want to hear. There's been nothing but general consensus on Reddit that people want survival, and they haven't okay. done anything with survival. So but that's it's total bull. It's take a bull. look at that wording, though. Too you, you guys, uh, if if you want to totally alienate your community, refer the, to them as this, that. This yeah. this shows me that they do not consider them a part of this community." It's an us versus them, and that makes me wonder about the whole but here mentality we go. of what's happening inside of the of. It comes uh, back. Daybreak. It comes back to the point we didn't ask for this transparency and open door policy. They were the ones that wanted it, not us. This was not a community. Every time I have to say this because people get all over my case on it. This was not something that the community asked for. Daybreak said we are going to be a crystal clear. You're going to be looking through a window when, when we talk, talk about the development for this game. And they haven't well, done that. And now they're getting all pissed off that people are complaining about the game. You were the ones that wanted to use Reddit as your, uh, as your source for doing all this stuff. Why don't you use your own forms? I mean, they were the so ones that wanted Sam, this. Sam's saying, read the last line. I, I don't have it in front of me. What's, his, like, what's the last line? That's the line? last line. It doesn't matter what any of, you people, uh, any of us post, even if it's exactly what you people want to oh, hear. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then he po okay. and then there was another long post to it. Um, he said, in other words, it's hard uh, it's hard t uh, to have a conversation uh, with a group of people that act like the zombie, act like the zombie in our that act like the zombie in our game, for whatever that's supposed yeah. to mean. In other words, it's hard to have a conversation with a group of people that act like the zombie in our game. Yeah, I don't know what that means. So that 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 to me. So, yeah, that, that just, to me just kind of talks about how they feel about the community. I mean, and I can understand, like, fault. I would get frustrated. But it's their own fault. They wanted it, not us. This is their I own fault. That, I think they want it to where it's like, hey, you know, look at what we're doing and everybody kisses, you know, kisses their behinds. Yeah, and no, just, they, 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 want, they want a community that, that does nothing but promotes and, and, and just, well, I almost, never mind. Uh, they just <laughs> totally just... I, I was going to use a word to describe it, but that, that's not appropriate for the show. Uh, yeah. It, like, they just want somebody that's going to, oh, well, we implemented a new zombie skin. Oh, my God, I love this game. It's the best thing ever. I love H1Z1. You guys rock. The development team rocks. This game is freaking awesome. I can't wait to play it. That's what they want now, every time they post. Imagine, imagine how they would probably treat us if we came in every time like fanboys. <laughs> we'd probably have so much my house would be full of I mean, free h1z1 I, shit i think everyone. we would probably have a shirt <laughs> and a hat and, and maybe probably, a, that's it, probably about it but <laughs> a bumper sticker a bumper sticker you know it's like i i, I <laughs> am seller. not i am not gonna turn around and and treat them any differently 
because of what they might give me. And I think that Brian and I I said this day one. I feel like we get punished for it, though. I I feel like they know that we're not going to sit there and praise them for everything. But it's like I think they would get more respect out of giving us a little bit of respect for doing this, even though we don't always agree with them. And maybe listening to I I feel like we give some pretty level headed input and and don't go with all, with all the crazy stuff that some of the stuff on Reddit. No, and and it's uh, you know, I would say 2 months ago, I feel like we were a little more productive but in terms of content from them, but at this point it doesn't seem like it matters because we mentioned yeah. stuff and nothing I mean it, it, it's not like they listen to this show. Like great, they may listen every once in a while, but when that guy specifically says it doesn't matter what we do, you guys don't like it, that's not true. Because if they were actually doing survival updates, people would stop bitching on Reddit. It's the problem is that they're not. Okay, so so let's take a look at their that July. Someone had put the uh, July roadmap that they'd put out. Where who put? So oh, let me. Oh, is that? Me, uh, is that it, someone had posted earlier? But I'll repost it. In, yeah, can you throw in, that? Uh, chat. Could you throw that? So this is this is what they had said. Okay, so July roadmap. This is right before they scrapped the whole roadmap idea, but it really gives you an idea of what was supposed to be in there so they yeah. had leaderboards yeah that was that was july 4th that was probably around the time that we did that remote show yep um they have the uh ak-47 crafting recipe so you could turn your ak-47 and i don't i don't know that they've ever done that like i don't i don't think they have like i haven't seen anything about it since no uh, professions the new zombie type the screamer the marketplace tab they did do um Meat grenade, Meat grenade still which done. hasn't happened. The noisemaker grenade, still hasn't happened. which hasn't happened. So they have done out of, let's see, what is their uh, six, seven, eight? Out of eight things, they've done three, maybe four. Or I'm sorry, two, maybe three out of eight. Yeah. Those are, that's that's not good. Yeah. Uh, and so that's, I mean, th- th- at that point they said, all right, we're, we're scrapping the whole roadmap idea because they couldn't keep up with it. Like, I, feel, I feel like don't th- promise, don't promise all that stuff. Don't say on July 14th, we're releasing these two things. July 21st, we're releasing these two things. July 28th, we're re- just say, and we've said, we said this before, this is our goal is to maybe get this feature implemented or something, or just like Arc, don't say it until you've done it. I just like, they have gone from, they're like, they're like bipolar like they go from no information originally like when we first started the show it was very hard to find information from a developer like they really weren't posting their show notes or their, not their show notes jesus their 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 patch notes like we kind of had to dig around to find them then they went gung-ho poach posting every single patch note and any little change to reddit then they started promising the world to us every single month since since that July roadmap, they have been pretty much silent on everything. Like yeah. we get, I mean, Brian, there was we, I, you know, we can do this really quickly right now. Let's pick so because we save all of our show notes, we can go to show notes. Let's go to episode thirty. So that was that was fourteen episodes ago. We had one, two, three, four, five update notes in that in that yeah. show that was on august 11th episode 30 tuesday august 11th 2015 there were five updates three test server updates uh, a four uh, three test server updates a development update and a live server update yeah all in one week and this week we have one... okay so do you want to go into the show notes i mean it'll be quick yeah I mean, yeah, we can. Or the, we can or the update notes. Yeah, let's cover the update notes for this week. The game updates. Uh, okay, so this is the game updates. Go ahead, so this Brian. Is a I'm live sorry. server update that you they want, did. You want to split it? <laughs> yeah, you want to take the first half. I mean, uh, no, you could you, you can do the whole thing. I'll I'll let you okay. have the honors. All right. I hope my open my throat doesn't get tired. Um. So they said uh, they said first frozen character after loading screen drops. Um. They fixed that. Uh. Incorrect decals on female Kevlar vests. They fixed that. Adjust your reward for green dawn rounds. They fixed that. And overall server stability, sudden disconnections. And so they fixed that. So th- that was the update notes for this week. Yeah, that was it. So since last week's show, we have had, that's all that has happened. Now, they may be working on something huge behind the scenes. And then I kind of feel like an ass. But <laughs> next, like they'll have, they'll have like three pages of show notes. Or that, of, I'm sorry, it is of very notes, possible. Week, um, sorry. But, uh, 
like I, I just like I don't know what they could be working on that they have no updates on. Like I know they don't want to get people's hopes up, but you can at least say, "Hey guys, we understand that you're pissed off. We're working on something huge. It will be out here eventually." Yeah. But there hasn't been that, which makes me think it's nothing has probably happened. Well, and okay, so now the fact that they put incorrect decals on female Kevlar vests, that's not a major update. Like Okay, so you guys pointed to the wrong graphics file internally when when this renders on a person. Just fix it. That's not a pa that's and you could put a note, you know, f th that you did it, but that's like that's not even a major thing. They'll that put they'll put that in there, but they won't put something like important in there. Like, oh, we updated this crafting recipe, but they won't put that in their shots, but they'll put some or patch notes, but they'll put something like that. This game, I at this point I almost feel like they are better off scrapping this entire game. I'm being perfectly honest with you, Brian. This game okay, is so not going not to go anywhere. Game, like I've said, I said this weeks ago, just scrap survival. No, like, I think they need to scrap the entire game and move on. But this is not playing, working. So people, people are playing BRs. People are playing BRs because it's free. I would love to see the statistics on Green Dawn. Clearly, it didn't. I can prove to you later on in the show it didn't drive new people to come back to the game. I can, I can just prove that see, people people have played, but the but the same problems. People are complaining about crashing and and all these other things. And you get people. So what they said is, all right, because people are crashing out and losing their tickets. If you close, if your game closes before the end of the round or before you die, um, you know we'll give you your ticket back. Yeah, send them a send them a. And so request. what people are doing as soon as they get into a firefight, they're they're alt fouring the game and they get their ticket back. It's just, it's silly. I mean, why doesn't their system just detect, I mean, they, like when League of Legends crashes, it's a bug splat and it's like this big thing that comes up and it's like send a report or don't send a report. Like why doesn't see, that happen? When someone H1Z1 someone could just unplug their network cable and like they have no clue. But unplugging your network cable wouldn't cause the game to crash. Well, but it would lose connection to them. They wouldn't that, have any other feedback. They would assume the game crashed. No, no, but here's a, like, I, like here's the thing. Like, uh, the, a, a game stops responding. It should be more than the like the Windows stop responding screen. There should be a game crash file that is created and stored locally. And then the next time the game that's uh, next time the internet is active, then the thing gets up updated. I mean, I don't know. I, I wonder how much time they're wasting on this engine. Like that's that's why I mean, just scrap it and just move on. Find something else to develop. I mean, this is this game is not going anywhere. They have promised so much and they've delivered so little that nobody cares. just nobody cares nobody nobody cares about this game Brian nobody cares but, but that's the thing is because of their engine it is so hard to put out anything that that's why we have such a snail pace development it's because of this engine like what we were talking about the arctic development team a small amount of guys can just kick out I mean, they're constantly just saying, oh, we're going to put in something new. We're going they're not saying, oh, we put out something new. Oh, now we got to fix how that broke all these other things in the game. They're not having to deal with that because mm. they're dealing with an engine that is thoroughly tested by many different developers. People are constantly working on it. And this is one small group of guys that they say, OK, well, are we going to be working on the on the engine today? Or are we going to be working on the game? Uh, it's like they it doesn't seem like they're doing both at the same time. Yeah. So this is actually the update from the developers on the Green Dawn tickets. So they're going to be modifying the ticket system so that the ticket will be consumed upon death. So if you are, um, so if you crash or you alt F4, you're not going to get your ticket. It's if you die. Now, you now Green Man, he brings out a point too. He's like, those are even different types of dinosaurs. They got flying dinosaurs. They got <laughs> fire breathing dinosaurs. You mean it's not the same model, just with different like different skins over every I mean, time? If you look at like they're like, hey, look, we put out new zombies, but they're they're just like they're all the same zombies with just like the the female zombie. I remember when they first put it out, like the head would render first because they just stuck that on the same mechanics of the male zombie, and it's like, but they weren't the same. So like this big white head would pop out way early yeah so <laughs> before the female rendered the reason i'm a little the reason i picked that reddit post really rubbed me the wrong way that way that that developer said you're never happy this guy on uh the green dawn tickets uh post kind of sums up exactly my feelings he puts three bullet points uh early access game test new game modes known bugs charging for it that's like hello uh mr developer 
It's because your development team is full of morons. That clear. I spent twenty dollars on this game, and you're charging me to test it. So are you okay, are you so kidding me? Seriously? Why don't, why don't oh my people god! Pay twenty dollars for the game. <laughs> Forty until, some even until it's actually released. Oh. Why don't they get that for free? Like we paid money already. We yeah, paid money. No, yeah, no, we're you, paying you need, to alpha test the game. To, you need to pay more, 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 why, more. Why need, don't they make it so once it goes free to play, then they start charging tickets? Like, why are they charging tickets for people that have all paid money that's supposed to be a free to play game? Because they have no clue what they're doing. It's simple. It's simple. They are not. They are so bipolar on every single thing. I mean, one second they are so hype. They are so, they're, it's like they're taking Adderall and they're just l like spinning a wheel and whatever the wheel lands and that's all they can work on. They are so hyper-focused on one thing for such a little amount of time that nothing ever gets done. Yeah. How many man hours do you think have been spent on those scoreboards since July? I don't know. So many hours. See, I look at this and I, I really view it as a leadership problem. And I, I was hoping that when Smedley left, that another guy would come in and say, all right, he would take the helm. Like he would lead the ship because if you really look at this in, in, I mean, you could use sailing terms, like with a large company like this, a semi-large company, it's like a ship. You don't, you don't, and this is the problem of why they're not getting anywhere. When you decide you're going to make a decision, just like a ship, you don't say, all right, let's instantly turn around. Let's do a 180 right now and start going this other way. Um, it's something where you say, all right, we're going to make corrections. And you, you take that and you start making slight corrections and your ship will move that way. You're still going forward, but you're, you're going in a new direction. You work towards that new direction here. It's like, because they're instantly like, let's go this way. They don't get any speed up. They're not going anywhere. And they never like, get anything done. That's it. Turning around and nothing gets accomplished. Like they're going, they're just a, a ship that's sitting there because they can't, Focus on one thing long enough to complete it. So then they say, oh, well, we're not going to do that anymore. Let's go for something new. We never get to see all that junk in the background that they scrap or we get pieces of it. It's like all these things that they've been promising for five months, four months, like a lot of that stuff. They said, oh, we're, we're working on this. We're going to put it in the game. Never has come out. Well, just maybe not tell us what you're working, what you're hoping will be in the game. Only tell us on what's getting ready to be put in that game because that would make it to where people are a lot less frustrated because of all the things that you've promised. Yeah, Green Man Cartoons uh, is pretty much just when I say scrap the game, he is summing his summary right here is exactly what I feel. He says it feels like there's no end to the game. It feels like it's uh, it's never going to be finished and on shelves. It's just going to fizzle slowly. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. The numbers are going down. The development team is clearly frustrated. I don't know. I don't know why they're not getting stuff done. Is it, like you said, a leadership issue? They don't have the re. I st honestly, honestly, I think it's the they don't have the resources available to do what they want and what they've promised to do. That's what t we talk about the engine having issues and not being suitable for this game. That's what I think it is. Um, I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's gonna fizzle slowly. Yeah. Um, uh, Gadlaw, no, I, you know what? But like. A game can fizzle slowly once it's successful, but okay, this game yeah, has never been usually, successful. Usually they come out, and then over time, it'll lessen, lessen, lessen. The problem is we're not having that big coming. I mean, the the coming out was January when they had, what, 40,000 people? Yeah, which ARC probably still has today. Yeah. And that's the thing. They won't scrap the game. The Silent Crisis says they won't scrap the game if they're making great revenues, and they are. For a game that's not even released that's in alpha... They're bringing in major money. Why, though? They're not putting out the content that matches that major money they're bringing in. Yeah. I'm, uh... And so, uh, man, this has just been... We've not gotten to... <laughs> okay, so let's talk about content they did put out. Okay, yes. So so if you look at uh, H1Z1 Beards. So this is one person that is working there, Sebastian. Yeah. Sebastian is making stuff that sometimes we never see or we never see in the way that he's rendered it because of the lousy engine. Like you can tell he's making stuff on his computer that looks better. And this one, it looks like they kind of rendered in their engine, but usually he'll put out a little higher quality version. Yeah. And I told, I sent you a message earlier this week and I was like, Hey, they, they're making a model of me. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They made, they're making a, it's, it's pretty much me. I was kind of got you, my broken you, you nose, you, you my thought, eyebrows. You thought you were so neglected by the developers. Um, yeah, yeah, by the way, secret, the, the, secretly they've got my the 24 my hour peak in Arc must have just posted 
uh, is 24, or four, I'm sorry, 41,000. So their 24 hour peak is higher than H1Z1 has ever had playing. Yeah. And they're both what? They're both $20. Actually, isn't Arc more? Is an arc like no, I, I think it's cheaper now. Like oh, was, I think initially, I think they were both twenty dollars. But either way, there's thirty thousand people playing right now. So there you go. But yeah, Brian, you're in the game. So congrats. You haven't so haven't pissed them off that much. I did. Yeah, it's twenty nine ninety nine for so it's twenty nine ninety nine for arc. Yeah, so arc is ten dollars more than H one Z one, and it still has, so, you know, it still does better every single week than H one Z one has ever done. So take that down for for fact. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is, yeah, so this is the, the new and what they're looking at doing. If you look at the second post, um, they're actually looking at implementing a system where your board, your beard will grow, your facial hair will grow. And they're actually wanting to put this on the, or have different variations of, uh, of hair on the, on the zombies. Like, so zombies will have facial hair, facial hair. Now I have a question. Well. Is this actually going to grow? Or is this going to be an A and B, where one second you have a beard and the next second you have a beard and a mustache? Because I feel like I think this they're is going... just going to have variations. So it's never it... going to change. Because remember, they were talking about having a system where your um, your shirt will kind of fade over time. Yeah, I mean, it's probably something where all of a sudden it'll tick, and all right, you're at the next phase. I mean, I, I don't know how they're going to implement it, but these are different beard lengths. Yeah. There you go. So that's, they're getting so that's in the no, they're and getting in the at, look at, now one thing to look at too is look at three different facial options. Yeah. The hair looks so terrible though. <laughs> I don't know what I don't hopefully that's not the hair that will be on the person. But the hair looks awful. It's literally on the skin. It's not even separate. Yeah, they didn't render it separately. It's just like a paint on the yeah, on the head. Yeah. This so this is the this is the new uh thing for balding people. Like you can just paint on your hair. Just going to draw it on like people do eyebrows. Yeah. That's pretty so, much what that looks like. It, yeah, it does. But no, no th this is good. I, I think that he was showing because if you look at the the mustache, that's actually something that's rendered yeah. outside. Like there's depth to it. And that I should that looks pretty good. They're right in time for no shave November. So hopefully, yeah, maybe maybe, maybe for <laughs> that would year. be funny. It's like they put this out in December. It's like you you could have put it out in no shave November and like had it as a big promotion. Like hey, this is we're putting out some content in honor of no shave November. It's like they're late again. I'm looking for a PR job if anybody's hiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that that's uh, honestly that is. So that's gonna be is that, that that's be it? A survival update? No, that's not a survival update at all. You don't think beards? I mean, they, no. Your beard won't have time to grow in in BRs. It doesn't matter because nobody plays survival. <laughs> Who cares? But so there's three different facial options now. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna see those in game, but those are three different faces that they put in that they didn't announce. Like that's something they're working on in the background, and then these beards. So that is that is the pretty much content. That's the announced content this week, and that wasn't even official. That's just Sebastian posting stuff he's working on. Yeah, so he's working. Give him credit. Yeah. So that so um, and another thing that happened this week is they pretty much have turned off most of the Australian servers. Yeah, you want me to cover this? Problems. Yeah, go ahead. So I guess I I don't know. So they do have an Australian office. From what I remember, they posted an yeah. image um, when they announced when they released the new Daybreak logo uh, with you know, the cog with the eye or whatever. They posted pictures and I want to say it was in uh, Melbourne, or Melbourne. Is it Melbourne or Melbourne, um, Australia? They posted and they said, like, this is all our Australian team. So they I believe there's people in Australia from Daybreak. Um, so it makes sense that they have those. But from what people from I've never played on the Australian service, but from what people are saying, the, uh, the the game is not stable and the uh, the servers aren't stable and the connection is not stable with these servers. The the pings are crazy. The lag is crazy. Um, so they've shut down all of the Australian servers, uh, but uh, but a two person BR server uh, for the weekend while they're doing some, I, I guess some improvements to the servers. Maybe it's hardware. I don't know what I don't understand how those servers can be different from the US and the EU servers, but those are off and maybe it's old hardware left over from EverQuest or planet side or something like that it's got to be I mean, is it possible that's like a connection the the data center's connection could be i doubt even? it i mean they don't roll their own data center so i i, I don't think they do so i i don't know 
uh, but for whatever mm. reason, they're pulling the servers down to... Um, now, they were supposed to only do it over the weekend, and, and from what I saw from posts, that they're still down. Well, that's so, fine. But if they weren't working, then that makes sense. I mean, why, 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 have, um, why have the servers up if, if they're not working? Yeah. Th there's, just, there's just no point. Yeah. So um, Judd said, huge updates on the test server, and it's like two lines. Yeah, and they just say zombie updates or something like that. <laughs> Battle Royale zombies. Battle Royale first person. Hey, yeah. And that's for Australia. So there we go. So it, that's all we have, the, those three notes. So we've had, we have, actually, no, only two things. The live, uh, no, the three things. The live server update, Australian server shut down, and h one z one beards um, are pretty much now, the they only did, things we have. They did make a page for the showdown, and I wanted to go a little bit into showdown. I mean, we, did, we did bring it up. Um, did you get your team? Last week. No, sorry, still no team. Uh, so December 12th, so that's coming up here in a little less than a month. They're having a tournament that's going to pit pretty much 75 players off, spread across these five teams, um, or five servers is what they're calling them, because uh, there's some that are combined. So you've got Summit 1G, you got Ninja and Grimms together, CD and a third, um, Sexy Hexy and Tricks 2G together, and then Phase Fire. So those are the, the five groups um, that they're doing. Uh, and they're going to be having a tour. They're, they're competing. Now, here's my issue with this as far as how this is coming across. Um, I've just, when I've seen this happening, like I just see these streamers, it seems like they're just having kind of like a power trip over it. Like they'll come in and say, oh, maybe you're good enough. I'm considering you. Like they'll have people come and play with them. And it's just like they're talking down. Now, that's not a streamer all of them. Um, no, not I would, all of them. I, but I'm saying, I'm saying, certain ones that I've gone in and watched. It's like, why would I even want to play with you? Like, no, some I mean, of you aren't even really that good. You're just funny. I don't. I have no problem saying this. I mean, it, these people are internet celebrities. Summit is an internet celebrity, right? He has no. I mean, he's not really nice to his listeners, like. He's, no. listening to him. Sometimes he's a jerk to him. I mean, and that's like, but it's, I mean, they're no different than like an actor. Those actors are total a holes. I mean, there's now, it's the same now thing. One guy, one guy that is probably the best, one of the best streamers that I've seen is CD in the third. Yeah. Like this, yeah, the stream for some reason keeps popping up and down. Um, so CD in the third, he, they did a live stream with him last week. And it, they were they were kind of hyping the showdown um, that they're getting ready to do, but it had nothing to do with that. Like seeing the third, CDN third was just being CDN the third. Yeah, he went in and he just said, "All right, developers, come with me on like what I do in game." And he had all these people line up on a bridge with bows, like tons of his followers. They lined up on a bridge with bows and they did a shoot off shootout, you know, from one side of the bridge to the other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was hilarious, but had, I, you know, it has nothing to do with this BR competition showdown. <laughs> it was just them kind of talking these, about. These guys are too big to be doing the showdown. I mean, realistic, like, it may sound stupid, but Summit ha will have like 40,000 people watching his stream. Like, how is yeah. he, how is he realistically going? How many people is it per team? Yeah. Is it like the 20 people per team or something like no, that? No, I, I think it's 12. Uh, yeah, 12 players. 12 people per team. So how is Summit supposed to find 40,000 out of his 40,000 people that, I mean, he's got, uh, what does he have? He has, he has, uh, uh, he, he's live right now and he has 18,000 people watching. He has a, a, a million and a half followers on Twitch. How is he yeah. supposed to weed that down to 12 people? Let's just, he's just going to pick 12 people the day of the event and put them in there. Yeah. That's what it's going to come down to. Or it's going to be 12 friends. I mean, how is, how is he supposed to read that down to 12 people? These people are too big. Yeah. Like, CD on the third is a, is a little bit smaller. He, he has a little bit more. Of well, a tighter he, niche he, audience. But he has a tighter, like, he has people that, like, he knows by name. Yeah. Like, some Summit gets so many donations that he's just like, oh, hey, whatever guy, thanks for the 20 bucks. Hey, you, thanks for We're 10 bucks. We're not attacking hey. these streamers, but it's just the reality. I mean, how can you, that, th these guys sometimes have so many donations on their streams that they can't catch all of them at the same time. 
That's well. just that's just how it is. Now, and and like so here's where like sexy hexy, that's the one like I was watching his stream and he was just kind of being a jerk to people. And maybe that's how he is persona. I don't really watch him, but maybe that's his persona of how, you know, whatever he's playing off is who he is on Twitch. But it's just like don't use this as as to be a jerk to your fans. Like and it, they're just yeah. making it like a popularity contest. It's just really weird. And I, I just, I just, it just made me totally turned off this whole idea. It's like, well, I wouldn't even want to try to get on like Grimm's is talent, like in the game, but he dedicates it. Like this is all he plays. Yeah, pretty much. You know, if, if you were to be on a team with Grimm's, he, he's probably played with you a bunch before and it would, you consider it an honor, an honor, right? Yeah. And now Lan Assassin said they have to hand out 500 tickets. They probably get 500. They probably don't have to hand out 500. Yeah. So, so this is, I mean, and it'll be interesting to see what's face fire going to do. Like he does, he plays survival. I don't know. He'll be live every Friday night at 7 PM Pacific. And he's pulling people every from, Friday and he, night, yeah. he actually put out a post on Reddit saying, got Hey, I want to be on the team. Yeah. And he got, he got absolutely destroyed. I'm not sure how I feel about that whole team Reddit thing. That's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Well, it, it, if you look after I watched the stream, like, the, the last post that someone had made right after CDN the thirds, you know, stream is like, who's face fire. <laughs> yeah. But people, out, people outside of the, Asians. outside of Reddit, people don't know who he is. No. And it's like, why did you put him in here when you're combining like Grimm's and Ninja and you're combining sexy hexy and tri trick. I guess 2G? I, I feel like I think they're thinking that there's going to be a big community behind this. I feel like, the, I think Reddit. they're doing, I think they're doing this to try to, uh, cause if they, if this was, now they're going to say, well, it's not all streamers, guys. There's a Reddit team. Reddit has a team. The cesspool of the H1Z1 subreddit has a team now. That's exactly why they did this. I mean, yeah. that, that, it, 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 like everything else, Brian, like, it's just this, well, you said you don't like all streamers, so we didn't give you all streamers. We gave you the team Reddit. So, but, you, yeah. but you're giving us a guy from a server that's a private server that the general community doesn't even have access to. Yeah. I mean, Facefire does a lot on the subreddit. Um, we're not, we're not yeah. saying that. No, but, but I'm people, saying like, people, like people that know summit that when he casually plays H1 Z1 have not a damn clue who phase fire handy or even who we are. I mean, no, nobody knows who any of us are. Nobody plays H1 Z1. Hello. Well, and that's like you had joked about last week. Like, why don't they give us, you know, a, a, but I, I don't even want one. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do I don't, this I, crap. I don't, I don't want to have a team like this and I don't want to like, I just have no interest in it. And I just, I, I don't want to be like one of those guys like, Hey, I'm, I'm like that, you know, you're just filling the spot so that we get a little less hate. I don't, I don't want to be that guy. And that's I, I kind of feel sorry for face fire for it. Like, like, no, that's exactly he, what it is about it. But I just, I, it's like, Oh man, you know, that's, you're like that token guy. You're like, we're just putting you in there. No, you, so that we can say that you're they're not all streamers. That's exactly what it is. The, 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 that is the only logical explanation on why we have a um why we have a a Reddit team. It's because they got yeah. so much crap for the H1 Z1 invitational being besides the what, the two people that they gave the giveaway to, all streamers. Which made sense because they were at TwitchCon and whatever else. But this event, like 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 why couldn't people make their own teams? Why couldn't there have been just five man teams? And then you do, yeah. do like a like do it like a bracket system. Why don't they have it to where the people that are on the top that that leaderboard can make a team? Like the yeah. people that are actually the best players. But the problem is, is how many of those people are hackers? Yeah, that's another thing. But like with this, they could say, "All right, fine, you get a five man team." Yeah. So we have a five. You can make can make your own five man team and it, make it like an MLG game battles uh thing. You, you, they, well, I mean, that would involve them having to do like a website thing, but you sign up there, you register your four people, it links to their H1Z1 account, and you have to face off against another team and you have a record in the top, what is it, the top five teams? The top five teams with the best records get it to, to win. These streamers wouldn't have the best records, I'll tell you that much, because they don't play yeah. the game enough. So I'm, they're, face that's fire the is if the, they're popular enough, they can pull in, they can pull in, they're hoping they can pull in enough talent to be able to carry them. Listen to this, listen to this insanity. Summit's team schedule. Follow his channel to see when he'll be playing Battle Royale. That they couldn't even get him on a schedule to, to practice for this event. That shows how little he cares about this event. 
Grimm's, it says, you know, playing Battle Royale Monday evenings around normally 6 p.m. Um, uh, uh, n- uh, Grim, Grimm's plays regularly. Yeah, Sadie and third uh, plays regularly. Gr- Gr- and Ninja's the same thing. Tune into the stream every Wednesday or, uh, Wednesday afternoon for Battle Royale section. Uh, the tr- Trick 2G and Sexy Hexy. Playing Battle Royale nearly every day. Phase Fire every Friday. And then it's just... Summit. Follow his channel to see whenever the hell he went. You know when he feels the need to click over to H one Z one. Yeah. So that that's I mean that's what that is. It's just so stupid. These they Summit doesn't care about H one Z one. He couldn't give yeah. a damn about this event. And I I don't I don't care what people say. People he does not give. He's playing freaking CS Go right now. Yeah. He doesn't care. It's just and it, I just. They, they we'll fit. see how this goes. It's just, I just, it's kind of odd. Like they're really alienating a lot of people with this. Like, who's going to really care about this outside of the people that are trying to get on a team? I would I not. Just, are you going to try to get on a team? No, <laughs> I have no interest in getting on a team. I, I don't need someone sitting there judging. Oh, maybe you're good enough to play with me. Uh, you know, no, no thanks. Well, there you go. I, this will not. This event will not go over well. I know I said that about the Invitational. The Invitational is different. This event is not going to go over well at all. I can't wait. They're, they're not going to be able to maintain the hype over all these games. There's, there is no hype. There is no hype for this game. Nobody cares about this showdown. Yeah. But this is going to be a remote event that's going to be played. Let, let, let me remind you. People are going to be playing this on their computers with their internet connections. Yeah. So this isn't going to be some closed... Uh, 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 local area network uh, setup that they're going to have going on. This is going to be people on their internet with their custom gaming PCs, with their graphics cards, with their H1Z1 game running. Yeah, this is not. This is not going to be P- right. The H1Z1 invitation. All the same hardware. All the same. The same internet. Everything else like that. Now, what if someone yeah, is using like uh, some sort of if they're using an overlay to be able to, you know, to see people through walls and stuff. Like how are they going to tell unless they're doing something to, to monitor their computers? No this will be interesting to see. I mean, Speaking, so there was that post, there was a, a streamer, a streamer that got, that opened up TM cheats on his stream and got banned for hacking. That's, that's the H1Z1 community for you. How stupid. That guy is a moron. He is a total moron. You but would, this is one of those streamers <laughs> that unless you knew he was doing that, you just assume he's, he's a decent player. No, he's uh, how many of these people are doing this? What? Like exactly. they just don't, they're not stupid enough to open it up before they go. It's like, we <laughs> don't even know because unless they get banned and which, unless they get exposed like this guy did, I just, yeah. oh, unbelievable. So now green Dawn, I wanted, there were, there was a post here on green Dawn, And, uh, I just wanted to talk about, you had mentioned it. I think you had mentioned referring to these three bullet points, but yeah, green Dawn, is, yeah, here, here's the post. title of it. Green Dawn is the laziest attempt at a game mode I've ever seen. Because they were talking about, oh, this is a new big system. It, they, he goes through and he, and he pretty much just rips them apart with this. Nothing to combat cheaters. Nothing to combat teamers. And now that that's changed. That, that's changed. We'll get into that. Well, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and no fix for any major crash bug. And now they did say they put up. But there was a bug that we ran into last time I t- played BRs. And they just, I think they addressed it today. Was you would go into the top 10. Um, and like everybody's game would close and the team it did. I, I, you, I don't think you were playing with us when that happened. You played green dawn. No, no, no. This oh. was just in BRs in general. And it's, it's the same thing. I had my it, game close when I got to a high up in a BR once. I didn't know that was a big thing. I thought that was just random. No. Well, so it was happening consistently. It happened every other game for us to, and, and huh. once in a while, sometimes. Were, so every time we would go into a firefight, with a group of people, all of a sudden, all of our games would close. Oh, perfect. It's like and the so, shotgun glitch. And this is <sighs> happening to people in their one. And people are saying, well, is this some sort of a hack where somebody is able to do something that disconnects everyone within, everyone within range? Like, this is a big, big problem, especially it, the last time I played this out of five games, it happened t- two or three times that it closed all the whole team's all their games, so everyone that was in the group, all their actual H1Z1 clients closed. It's a feature. You know, and 
I, we were like, man, this is a crazy bug, but it happened only when we were going into firefight fights. And I was like, well, maybe it's like if they're throwing uh, Molotov or something, something's like, happening. Like the shotgun that used to do it. You would shoot a shotgun yeah. in PV and half the server would disconnect. But I haven't heard anyone consistently being able to say, here's what's leading to this. Yeah, no. So I don't know if that if that's going to be a new thing that comes out, if it's a bug. But that that was something that was being a large problem. And this is 21 hours ago. Someone posted this. So it's been going on for weeks because I haven't played in a week and a half. Yeah. And it was happening a ton then. And here within the last 24 hours, someone else is doing it. Yeah. The, I, I, and I want to read the la some of the stuff on here. He says, for Christ's sakes, they didn't even make the gas threatening. It still only tickles you for a major, for, for a major part of the game, which is you can... Like we saw in the Invitational, you can just sit in the gas the entire game and it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. And then, of course, he got attacked because the apologists, the apologists, I guess, were in high force in this this comment thread. But like, he's 100% right with this. But, I mean, well, besides, I, my... the, the, besides the teamers things, which they did, which we'll get into, there is still no... With this now, you're putting money on the line and people are clearly cheating. People are streaming themselves cheating. I mean, now, why don't why on this? Why didn't they just adjust the standard BRs to be this? This is what we've been asking for. <laughs> BRs take too long. The gas moves too slow, right? Doesn't do any damage. It, the, the gas doesn't do any damage. This is what mm. we've been asking for. The the fact that it starts at, at the beginning of the day and ends at the end of the day, I could care less about. That's the first comment. Whoa, 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 whoa. They made it start at dawn and end at dusk. Like what? The, who cares? Uh, really? I mean, that that's not the point. All they did was make it more like what we asked BRs to be in the first place. It's because I'm I because Brian because they are working up towards the release of this game. There will no longer be battle royales. It will just be Green Dawn. It will be two man Green Dawn, five man Green Dawn. They're getting rid of BRs because right now BRs have a free connotation. This game is but going to have a that, paid connotation. They are going to get rid of BRs. Mark my words on that. And when we were talking about this earlier in the week, I mean, that's pretty much what I said is this is so close to a normal BR, but they wanted to come up with something that they could tag and say, hey, you know, we can charge for this because if they would all of a sudden turn around and started charging, first of all, for BRs, people would complain. Yeah. Well, at right? this point, they they shouldn't be charging for anything because it's I pay. And, but but the problem is, is if they didn't charge for this and then they started charging for this, then, people will complain. Exactly. So. It's like, and it's by just, the way, it's, it's they're frustrating though. They didn't make something that was unique enough. Like this is just people. Someone made a comment. Like I was watching a streamer playing this, but the only reason I knew that they were playing Green Dawn is because they said I, they were playing Green Dawn. Like I couldn't tell. Yeah. This and by the way, they're going to phase out your event tickets. So just be aware of that. That's the that that's my uh, inside knowledge I have. There's going to be event tickets V2. So don't think holding on to your event tickets now is going to do you jack squat once, once the game releases. Let's be. How many how, mystery bag V two? They're going to get rid of your event tickets. They're going to force you to buy new ones once the game comes out. But just there's your there's your speculation inside knowledge. You can almost you, guarantee that's going to happen. Do you think that they can phase out enough, like make it to where enough people don't want to play the regular BRs, to where it pretty much those die out? Like they all have one or two servers doing that. Yeah, because uh, I assume they're not going to give regular BRs any more love after this. It's uh, they're going to continue putting things into the paid more model. So that, like, oh, why would I want to go play regular BR? Like, it takes too long. And name, name off every negative feature you can think of about BRs, and they will stay that way for until people finally say, we don't want these anymore. I, 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 Brian, honestly, I have absolutely no clue what their, what their plans are. I mean, I, I give up. <laughs> okay, so... I give up. I, I, I don't even know. I don't know, what, I don't know what they're thinking or what they think is going to happen, but it's, I have no clue. So let's talk a little bit about um, the suspension thing because we did mention it in passing. So there's an image here that is it of an email someone received, but then uh, there's a post as well. Yeah. Where and this came, kind of came out of the blue, it, and I wanted to get your input on this because I don't know that I totally agree. Okay. So they put on here: friend was suspended for uh, for teaming. He got a one day suspension. And he was ejected from his vehicle um, and, and his friend uh, got an email saying that he was suspended. Now, this is because they were teaming in Green Dawn. Where does it say in the terms of service that you cannot cooperate with someone else? Does it not say that in Green Dawn? I'm talking about in the terms of service. 
Oh. To get you banned from the game. Where does it say you can't cooperate with someone else? Does it say, the, the, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it does. Well, I should find that out. How how can they get a suspension and suspend, suspend somebody's account, especially for something they just paid for, if 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 it doesn't say that in the terms of service? I'm gonna. I'll find the. Uh, I'll find their terms. I don't even know if they have. Do but, they even have they, a terms they, of they, service? They, so they're suspended for a day. They can't play the game for a day. They're getting banned. Which, for a day. Yeah, they're getting banned. I mean, that's what it's suspension. It's a ban. Yeah, I mean, you could call it a suspension. It's just it's doesn't just matter. Suspension thing. ban. It's the same thing. You can have a, a one day ban or a, a permanent ban. It's a ban that you're get, you're but, not allowed to play the game. It, but my thing is, is first of all, and this is if you go through this thing, there are a number of streamers that are openly teaming with other people with and, and people from Daybreaker in the chat talking to them. Why aren't those people getting banned? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just looked at their, um, terms of service and there's, they don't have an H1Z1 terms of service, but their Daybreak terms of service says nothing about teams. So for whatever, for whatever that's worth. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like what they're banning people for is on a whim. It has nothing to do with the terms of services are. The reason that you ban someone is because they broke your terms of service, not because they broke Oh, I, I don't rule. Like they broke a rule. Uh, they, they, they broke an internal silent rule that was never stated. It's not something you're agreeing to when you enter the game, right? No. This, this, the being suspending someone, I would say cheating that I is would, not a refund from, I, yeah, but it says you, in the terms of service, it says you will not use cheats. Cooperating with someone in game, especially when they have in game voice chat, is not cheating. Yeah. Saying, you know what, I'm not going to kill you yet because I'm going to use you to get me farther in the game. That is not cheating. No. And so this, having them come in where like Lyndon uh, FPS is in there and he's got teamers. Um, I, I, I think uh, there was another major streamer, um, Llama. She was playing with Ark, uh, with Adam Clegg in the chat and she was teaming with people in Green Dawn. And he was talking to her and did not get banned. Like, if you're going to go around and, tr and just ban people that you don't consider you the lesser people, ban the big streamers, too, for breaking the rules. Because that's what people are watching. And they're going to be following their example. If they see one of them get banned, then they're not going to do it. Yeah. But that's not even a rule. And no, it's not a rule. It's not listed. This is yeah, It's just the, 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 the silent rule. You don't, you don't team in, in BR. Now, Gadla, he's bringing up, like, what about abusing glitches? Glitches is in the terms of service. It says you want to use, and I, I, I don't know if it says the word glitch. No, but glitches, gl glitches that they put into the game are not, I, are those, if I got banned from one of those, I would ask for a refund. I would never play the game again. But, but, but there's purposely yeah. abusing a glitch is, is one thing. Yeah. If the glitch happens, like, for some reason, I'm ejected from my car, like, and I start spinning through the air and flying through the air, like, and they ban me for... Ha um, speed oh, hacking, like yeah, speed hacking or something. I, that yeah, I would be frustrated. <laughs> I would be pissed. But like with this, just saying, oh, we saw you cooperate with somebody in a BR. Oh, and you're gonna ban uh, me. So I that. guess they say violate the game specific while playing. So violate the code of conduct is violates the game specific rules of conduct posted in the Daybreak knowledge base and or on the game forms. So the Daybreak Knowledge Base for Green Dawn. Do they have one? Uh, no. I don't. I don't know. Daybreak Knowledge Base. Not available. There's no... The link is no longer available. Click the Knowledge Base tab above. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. So th that's the thing. Is it... It's not out there. Right? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing saying... We, it's just kind of like, oh, we, people are teaming and we don't like it. People are complaining about it. So we're going to start banning people. Well, make it to when you enter the game. It says, I agree and make very simple rules to not team, to not, you know, whatever the short list of things are that you don't want those people doing specifically, make them accept that before they enter the game. Yeah. That game type. It's like they didn't even tell anybody what the rules are. And they're, they're, it's like, with uh, being speeding and pulled over. It's like ignorance of the law is no excuse. That's what they'll tell you. But that's not this. Like you hadn't even made the law. There is yeah. no law. There. I'm looking for an H1Z1 teaming. 
for the rules. I don't see anything right now. I mean, yeah, I'm, there's, I'm, there's, I'm, I, I can I'm, almost, I can, I can almost tell you there's nothing written down. Yeah, but solo B, it doesn't matter. Solo BR, it's because you get in with one person. So, so if that was against the rules, then they should have been banning people when there was no two man BR, and then everybody would have been banned. Yeah, I that mean, every, 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 the rules. Everybody should have been banned. Be, it may be in poor taste, but it's not against the rules. And I'm not saying like I, I don't like the idea of people teaming in it's there. It's bullshit. And, I hate it. I absolutely hate it when a, when a group of 15 people come up on me in a solo BR. But if I got banned for that. I, I the, would never play H1Z again. But the problem I, I is, is they're to... coming up with the wrong way to implement it. Like, come up with a system to where if people are working together and you can see that they're close to each other and not killing each other, yeah. come up with something that happens that makes them stand out or makes like them take damage or, or something. Or just kick them. How about you just kick them? You don't let them. The, you don't have to ban them. Just keep. Just kick them from. B, just keep kicking them from BRs. Yeah. Every time that they're teaming in a BR, just kick them. Eject them from the car and kick them. You, you, you don't you ban them come from up the game. With, you need to come up with a way that it makes it less enticing to do these things. And that's the problem is they're not doing that. They're just banning people. Like, you still have plenty of people that are hacking and greened on. You have plenty of people that are gr grouping up. And I've just, I've watched videos of people playing and saying, here's pretty much what it, what it is. And it's just, it's like a, a, one person playing by themselves, following all these rules, it cannot win. Well, then don't make them pay for it until you figure out how to make it so where it's an even playing field, where it's, it's all honest and straightforward and anyone it, has an equal chance. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to pay to play it at all because you paid $10 for early access or $20 or 40, 20 or $40 for early access. Like you, you, you already paid your dues. Like I have yeah. paid my dues. I will not, I will not, I, I'm not going to put a, I will never put a penny, another penny into H1Z1. It won't happen. It's just never going to happen. I, I paid my dues. I, I will never. I will not put another cent into H1Z1 ever. It's not going to happen. There's not a single feature that they could implement that I would ever pay for. Yeah, that's just the fact. Okay, so here's something, and I, and I don't want it to be where I'm constantly criticizing them. Like this isn't. I I want to encourage them on a better way, right? It, yes. Rather than saying here's problems, 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 and always pointing out the problems. I guess it's kind of like a politician. Like the, you can sit there and criticize biggest, all day, yeah. but I'm I'm willing to come up with well then here's a better way. Why don't you try this? And by the way, that's it, the biggest problem with Reddit is it's just a bunch of bashing and no solutions. Well, the the survival currently sucks. I hate I hate the way BR is. Well, then, well, what would you change? Nobody ever goes into that. We actually do that. We we cover like if we say something sucks, we'll tell you. That, we'll give you a suggestion on how to make it better. So here's something that has been a big problem and I think will be a big problem going forward. I, they, I think they really need, because right now in survival, it's just purely kill on site. People have taken the whole um, BR mentality and they've moved it over to survival to where that's what it is. Um, it's not about survival. It's about first person shooter. And so I, and I've, I've kind of pitched this idea, you know, what about a karma system? And, you know, people have said, well, if you have a karma system where, you know, a player looks different. That's very hard to implement, especially with how they do the skins and the fact that people don't even render. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, and I'm throwing these ideas out there and I kind of want to get feedback from the community on what they think. Um, but what about having some sort of like a defense buff for players that don't kill other players in regular? Like uh, I have a better, no, I have a better idea. No defense buff, make it an offense, uh, make it an offensive buff or, you know, no, it wouldn't even okay. be a defensive buff. It would be if you are constantly killing, every time you respawn, your health starts at 50%, and you can only get it the highest 50% or 60%. Well, I'm just saying, let's say let's say a player who doesn't kill other players has something that makes them harder to kill. I think it should be the right? opposite way. But then also having a defensive buff, debuff, for players who kill other I players think it should on a regular just, basis. just be the debuff. I'm not okay. interested in something that makes me more powerful. Well, I mean, that would be the new normal. But I'm just saying yeah. something that makes them harder to kill okay but you could have it to eat where it's a little harder to kill everybody first of all yeah and and then you can have a thing where if someone's constantly killing other players like they are easier to kill you could say they're mentally unstable like whatever it is you could have a debuff that says mentally unstable yeah and that makes it so where if i shoot that player let's say with the the 308 anywhere in the body they're gonna die i mean you know you could you could have some whatever the math is of it mm -hmm. but have something like that um, and then maybe somebody who has changed their ways or, you know, they, they're having to constantly work their way out of it. Maybe, maybe going out and killing zombies and, or doing something in game 
lessens that that debuff, kind of removes it over time. So someone has to go do something other than killing other players for a period of time to get that debuff to go away. Yeah. Now, African Jesus is saying he disagrees that there shouldn't be a handicap for people that play the way they want to play. In some respects, I agree with that, but if without something like this implemented... But if you're, if you're getting yeah. to... If you're going to be the type of player that it's con it's all about killing other players... Go play BR. Well, then you should be willing to die more. Like, Yeah, I mean... It, make it so that if, if they're all, all their only thing is killing other players when not all players just want to go and, and shoot everybody that will make it to where it's a possibility of becoming a little healthier. Hey, don't let's not shoot. Let's talk this out. Like that doesn't even happen anymore. Yeah. Never. I just, I, it's just, it's, it's really frustrating. Uh, and I just, I, I think that, and th that's just my idea. I need a reputation like, something. system. Yeah. But how, how do you, how can you implement that when you're just running across people? That's what I'm trying to get as a way to make it so that something is different, not just visually between the players when they kill inside all the time. Yeah. But like you have to have a balance of, you know, every time you kill somebody, maybe you lose 1% HP before you, yeah, have, yeah, before, your, before your total you, maximum HP. Yeah, yeah. That'd be kind of like a debuff. So you have yeah, it to but, where, yeah, and then every time you get killed, it goes up by one. So you yeah, got to keep and, a fair and balance. You sit there and kill enough players and maybe it ticks away over time, like it rebuilds. Yeah, yeah. But you have it to where if you're just killing other players, like you're getting it to where you have one hit point. <laughs> if you kill 99 players before your thing ticks back up, you'll have one hit point. Yeah. I mean, maybe it resets every, uh, you know, like every 48 hours. Like it goes back you, to 100. You can even have it to where every hour you get one back. Yeah. You could, you could have it to where every yeah. hour you get one health percentage back. Yeah, and then you also get but one. If you, if and then you, you kill 10 people in an hour, you're going to be a 90% health max. And then 1% health every time a player kills you. You get one back. So you lose one for, lose one for killing, gain one for dying, gain one every hour. That yep. would be a very... So that if you... Now, first of all... So that if, way, now, if you're having a firefight back and forth with somebody, having an even fight to where you're both dying... Yep. And coming back, you will maintain the same max health. Yeah, pretty much. Or you'll go down, you know, one or, you know, maybe you'll go, like me, I'd go down like, I don't know, three or four points maybe. If you get three or four kills, which is a lot for a regular player. You know, you're oh, great. You're down to 96% health. Like That's not a huge difference. Your but game's that's not over. You, but yeah. that, that's all you do, and especially hackers. Like hackers that are flying around the map, mass killing people, they'll get to where they have no health left. Yeah. So anyways, I think that that would be an excellent way to implement a karma system that would, would totally denuder or pretty much neuter, I guess not denuder, neuter hackers, right? Yeah. Because if they kill 50 people in an hour, they're going to have 50% 50, 50 health. Exactly. Um, it, it, you could even do 2%. I mean, you could figure out the percentage to where... Hey, if so you would tweak it. Tweak it to whatever. Uh, but, but that would be one way that I think it would really work. And that's just for me... Just think, trying to think of something positive. Like they could implement that so easy. Definitely. So. All right, let's get into current players. It's everybody's favorite segment. Um, and the the trend is going down. So uh, let's just talk about this first. Uh, currently playing eleven thousand two hundred and sixty nine people. Twenty four hour peak fifteen thousand uh, twenty nine, and our seventy peak nineteen thousand three hundred and nineteen. That's seven hundred short of twenty thousand on a Sunday. So this Sunday, yeah. they didn't even reach 20,000 people. Which is, yeah, lower than it's been in the last a, a, ver a, a very long time. Um, this doesn't look like it's, uh, unless they announce something, which I don't know what's on the drawing board, but unless they announce something, I don't see this going up. If you go and look at the one month view on H1Z1 right now, it is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. It is a... It is a total hill. It's not even like a hill that you can, you know, if you look at it close enough, you can be like, oh, that's definitely a decline. This is so blatantly obvious that it's declining. I mean, there's not even, there's barely 10,000 people playing this game right now. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock on a, on, a, on a Tuesday. I've got 15 friends online playing uh, Fallout 4 right now. So there's just, there's not even 10,000 people playing this game. And like, we're not comparing this, like, I'm not comparing these numbers to you know, a game that was just released a week ago. I mean, that's not... No, but, but just but, look at the reality. Look, this is a time... People at, play video games. That's why you can bring up Ark, though. Ark has been out a while, right? Yeah. You can compare those two numbers now. It's not just released. Yeah. And, and, you, and you look at the numbers there. They're maintaining more the peak. 
And it's not like it's that much. It's not a bigger development team. It's not, you know, a bigger brand name. No, in my, it, it's, in it's my, not. my fallout comment wasn't that people are playing fallout. It's that people are playing video games now. It's eight. It, that's why I said it's eight 30. Like yeah, you're are, saying it's a peak time for pe- people to people play. People are home from work. The West Coast people, it's it's it, pe- people are getting home or, or going to be home. It's the West Coast, uh, the Europe. I know people are going to bed, but uh, like it's prime time. If you want to go and play a video game, you're gonna go freaking play it now. It's it's eight thirty. Yeah. It's nine o'clock. You, like you're you're ready to go. Yeah. So uh, there is a clear tick downwards. I don't see what's gonna be happening in the development stage for this to. Um, for I just don't see what's going to happen. So yeah. th- th- that's that's uh, that's current players, but like next week I would imagine pro- maybe ten thousand people playing at the time of the show. This is very reminiscent of, um, like, uh, when was it? Like, like June or May? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so and here's another thing that I don't know if they've thought through. It, if you take a look at the type of community or type of people that play game like BR, it is different than the type of people that play survival. But the people that play BRs are going to be more of a, is this the game of the moment? Like they'll move on to other first person shooters. Yeah. Like call of duty. They'll play call of duty. They'll play CS. Battlefront's out now. There's not any type of something that's going to hold them to that. If you can build up the survival base, that's going to maintain over a long period of time. People will continue to play that because of the community. There's not a community with BR. And this is going to be if if BR is cool right now, but they're going to have to keep on pushing BR just to keep it to where it's maintaining numbers. Well, eventually, people will move are. on. That's what that new game mode is for. But if they can't get that right, then people are going to go and play a different game because to them, a first person shooter is a first person shooter. Yeah. You know, I, they're, they're not tied to this first person shooter more than any other. True. The people that are just playing for BR, you're you're 100 percent accurate with that because yeah, there's just, a lot I of just, better first person shooters. For them, they're on a very they're on the precipice. <laughs> if they think they're just walking a fine line, if they think that they're gonna survive in the long term with just BRs, it, when, people will walk away when something else comes out. Someone else can release a game that's similar but built more proper is properly. Doesn't even need to be built more properly. It just needs to be built and released, and, and everybody the, will run over. It, I mean. You know, people don't want to play Daisy. They didn't like how, but if they could, they could, and being that they don't own this game type, someone else could release another one. And, and if he agrees to it, there'll be a di- another BR by somebody else that has less bugs and more features. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways. Yes. So, uh, tips of the week. I, I've, got a, I've got a Lisa. So let's go on to tips, tips of the week. What is tips um, of the week? So tips of the week is where we go through and and just give something for maybe a new player who doesn't know the map, doesn't know um, maybe how to uh, anything about survival or BRs. Go through and give a tip that'll help them get started. And then our advanced tip is where we go through something that maybe is more advanced, maybe something that's specific to this game or something that'll be uh, be something that maybe give you that little extra edge over somebody. So this is beginner and advanced tips of the week. All right, so our beginner tip of the week, I've uh, been going through the last couple of weeks talking about some excellent places to land uh, when you're doing BRs. So this this first one, uh, the first one, you know, I thought it went over re- very well. Um, for me, those are things that really help, you know, knowing where to land. Uh, so I figured we could kind of keep this going until we go over the major points through the map that we land at. So this week I'm doing Rancho Taquito. Um, I think Rancho Taquito is one of those places that is ignored, but it's an excellent place to land. You, uh, you're almost guaranteed to get a number of vehicles. This is on the upper right corner of the map. Um, the gas doesn't tend to end up there. And so it's, it's a good idea. Um, you know, once you get your, your guns, your gear, your vehicle uh, to start heading southwest. But uh, this is a place that a lot of times people ignore it. Um, the, t- the houses always tend to have weapons, um, maybe armor. And also uh, there's a Jeep. I know right next to the church, there's a Jeep. Um, by the apartments, there's a Jeep. There's a couple of police cars in that town. There's a truck in the uh, restaurant or in the 
um, grocery store, parking lot. I mean, they're just there are vehicles spread all across, usually more than players. So, and there's a subdivision. If you don't get enough, you can go through and get some more ammo. So Rancho Taquito is an excellent place to land. As I said, it's on the very northeast side of the map. Um, it, it, there's pretty much a road that goes west um, out towards Zims, and then there's a road that goes south that eventually take you towards Granberry area. But um, if you're going to land, you may want to consider that, um, you know, land there and kind of look around. And it's, it's an excellent place to get geared up. Usually people say, oh, there's going to be people there. I'll go there and it'll be totally empty. So um, it'll be a nice place to go and, and get geared up before you go and meet up with other players. Now, for our advanced tip, this is one where I, 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 people kind of understand it somewhat. But I wanted to talk about when you're building a base, making what they call a man trap. Uh, these are actually in data centers, in high security areas. And, and this, so man trap is a, is a real word, but it's, it's that one area where somebody has to go in um, with a door that locks behind them and there's a door locked in front of them to make sure that it's a secure room before they go into the next room. That makes it so somebody yeah. can't rush through. Yeah, exactly. You have to, the, the door before the other door will open, the one before, behind it has to lock. So you're in the yes. area before anything happens. You're, you're so in that, yeah, that's that, that's that man trap. It'll create a contained area. This is a main, main problem with this is, and we ran into this before they changed the base building system is someone could kill you when you're opening your door and your doors open. Like they can then come into your base and we had this happen. And you can enter. And if you logged out and logged back in prior to this issue, your codes weren't recognized. So you have four people inside your base that didn't put the code in for the door. So, and they couldn't close it. So the owner would have to come on and close the gate feature. Yes. And so, and so this was a major problem then, but now you can have these man traps to where, you can go, you can open the door. Even if someone killed you there, there's another lock preventing them from going into the next, into the main part of the base. So definitely make one of these um, it, with the new deck extensions. Well, not so new, but the deck extensions that they made, um, this makes it a lot easier to be able to make one of these. But you can go through and, and make it so that there's these multiple sections. And uh, even if they were to blow down the first door, then they find, oh, there's another gate here. Uh, you can make them work through the base. But this the main thing is, is like we even had hackers, like people that were hacking would wait until we opened a door, shoot somebody, and then they, they have open range of the base. So um, this does prevent that from happening. Um, it'll maintain it, it's a huge advancement in base security if you make one of these if you're not using it now. So definitely, um, and it doesn't matter how you do it, but just make it so that there's a gate and a gate and walls on the side <laughs> and so they can't go straight through your base if one gate is open. So those are our tips of the week. Thank you very much. And I know you got to get out of here, Brian. Um, so I know we've been, I know we've been pretty negative, uh, but you know, there's just, there's just nothing at this point that's got me excited about this game. And I just, I've been this past week, I've been really frustrated about it. Like time is running out. I feel the time is running out for H one Z one. And my, the, my, uh, uh, my anger comes from the fear that this game will no longer exist. Cause I really do want this game to be successful, even though people will say, I don't, I really do. Yeah. And I just, I miss the community. Like for me, talking as I to said people before, everything. Yeah. Yeah. And you knew, you know that that was like a big thing for me. Like, yeah. And for me would, specifically, people would tease me about how I would talk even after I got killed. Like I would talk to them. Yeah. And I that would, is totally I'd gone, that is gone out of this. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that like I don't even feel the desire to do that. But anymore. it's but and it's even more than that too. Like like we've met so many cool people on our team speak. Like and I feel that I'm not reminiscing, but like, you know, we met people like Falcon and Fermet and Cram and, and like, there's just so many cool people. Joe, uh, and we, you know, we we've met Kill Cam, Green Man Gaming is in here, the guy that does the anime. Like we've met all these people through through H1Z1. Like yeah. that's really cool. Um but it's just I just I, I think they're really yeah. hurting the community. They're not you know they're they're not implementing things that encourage a community in this game. Exactly. And I think if they can start bringing in survival, start encouraging people to play together again, not in just five man groups. I you know that's what's going to make this last in the long term. And I hope they end up doing it. Definitely. So Brian, where can people find you on the net? Yeah, if you want to find me, first of all, you can go to biteoftech.com. That's with an I. Or if you want to go to our website, that's infectionpodcast.com. We have a nice contact form on there. Uh, on the upper right, just hit contact us, and you can send an email through there, and that will go to Nick and I, um, and we'll resp hopefully reply to you within a reasonable amount of time. Of course, we have our Steam group, 
get on there even if you're playing any other game 313 uh, members yeah i've got a i've got a lot of games if you want to play a game send me a message and uh <laughs> and we'll play something so definitely thank you very much brian and we'll see you next week uh, guys, our podcast is available wherever podcasts are available. Of course, you can check out our website, infectionpodcast.com. You can also check out my other podcast if you're interested in gaming, geekiness, and more. It's thecrummyshow.com. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this week's episode of Infection. My name is Nick Craig at infectionpodcast.com is my website. And we'll see you next week for Infection. Have a good week, everybody. Yep. Have a good one.